guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the worst liquid lipsticks that I have ever tried. If you missed my first video, I talked about all of the best liquid lipsticks. I will link that video down below in the description box. Definitely go check that out if you want to see all of my top picks for the best liquid lipsticks and best formula from the best brands. Go over there and check that out. Of course, they're all cruelty free. And unfortunately, all of the ones I'll be mentioning today are cruelty free, but unfortunately, they just didn't work for me. So as a disclaimer, if you love these liquid lipsticks, I am so happy for you. I wish that they worked for me, but I just can't, okay? They just did not work. Either the formula was very sticky. I can't stand stickiness. It's a, it's a huge pet peeve of mine. So anything that was sticky, crumbly, flaky, not long wearing, maybe it's patchy. All of these formulas were just horrible. So let's get started. Grab a drink, grab a snack. Let's hop into it. Hop, hop, hop. So first up on my list, we have the LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss Matte. Now I don't know about you, but this is definitely not a gloss whatsoever. This is a liquid to matte lipstick. It does dry completely matte. A lot of these colors are hit and miss. I purchased the full collection when I saw these on the iKate House website. I've had these for quite some time. I never did a video. I was going to do a full like lip swatch video and review. But after trying all of the shades out and wearing them and testing them, it just wasn't worth putting my lips through absolute hell. My issue with these is that they dry down very sticky, some more than others. Also, the formula was not consistent with all of the colors. A lot of the darker shades were very, very streaky and they, they just didn't perform really nicely at all. I just cannot stand that sort of really tacky feel. Yes, you can put a loose translucent powder over top to get rid of that, but if you have to go in with another layer and do touch-ups throughout the day, you're gonna have to carry powder with you. It's just it's just too much effort for a like one or two dollar lipstick. So these unfortunately I would not recommend. These were a no-go. Next up I have these lipsticks here from LA Girl. These are called the Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. Yes, again with the gloss name. So I purchased these when they first came out. These are pretty old. They probably need to go in the garbage. But these ones were, again, sort of a hit and a miss with the formula. Same like the LA Colors ones. These actually remind me quite a bit of that same formula. Some of these were okay. They dried down and they did not feel sticky, but a lot of these felt so sticky. It is a pet peeve of mine. Some people don't mind it. I cannot stand it. I don't want to be talking to someone and having like that really uncomfortable, thick, sticky, ugh, just really gross feeling on the lips and having them stick together. I don't know, these, I just could not get down with these. They are really affordable and cheap, but this formula was just really, really bad. Next up, we have a brand that is sort of an indie company, and these are from LA Splash Cosmetics. I remember loving these at first, and then the more I tried them, the more I realized how difficult these are to get off your lips. So I have some of the Lip Couture's ear and I also have a few of the Lip Tint Mousse formula. So these are definitely a long wearing liquid lipstick. They do dry down matte. They are transfer proof and pretty much they feel like cement on your lips. They're extremely, extremely difficult to remove. You have to use like coconut oil and makeup remover. You have to just get out the sandpaper and just scrub that off your lips because these are so hard to remove. These are the most difficult liquid to matte lipsticks that I've ever tried to remove off of my lips. Like it's actually painful and my lips end up being so dry and irritated afterwards. Also, these have a really strong chemical scent so strong that I find these a little bit difficult to wear and it makes me question the ingredients in these lipsticks. I don't see myself purchasing any more of these lipsticks from this company. I'm not saying they're a bad company, but I just did not like either one of these formulas. So these right here are from BH Cosmetics and these are their liquid to matte lipsticks. I only have two colors to share with you because these are the only two colors I have. So I have Muse and I also have Bewitched. The issue I have with these is that they're so, so drying on the lips that I don't even want to wear them. They make your lips look really wrinkled up and pruney and that's just not a look I'm 
I'm going for. But these were just really, really, really dry. It's unfortunate, but I will not be purchasing any more of these. They're just too uncomfortable on the lips. Next on my list is unfortunately the NYX Lip Lingerie Lipsticks. These are very different from the Liquid Suede, which you guys know I love those lipsticks. This formula is so bizarre. I don't like it whatsoever. I am sorry. I know a lot of people love these. This almost reminds me of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, but even more dry feeling. I don't know what it is. There's just something about this formula. It's very slippery and it feels like there's a lot of like silicone or dimethicone in these lipsticks. This formula was not my favorite. I don't like it. All right guys, we're down to the last three, which are the three worst formulas I have ever tried. So the first one here is from Santi. I hope I'm saying that right. But this is their matte long lasting lip gloss. It claims to be a 24 hour wear lip product. These do dry down completely matte and they are transfer proof. These are only $1 each. You can get these from the Shop Miss A website. I thought I would just try them out and I had a feeling that I would not like them. <laughs> and I really don't. But these feel so cakey and thick on the lips. I also don't like how sticky they feel. Again, I just can't get down with that sticky formula. But if you can put up with them, they're only $1 and I mean they come in a lot of different colors. but. These were just not so great. I did not like them. Unfortunately, these are a miss for me. So these right here are also from shopmissaid.com and they are only $1 each. I do have three shades here and these are the Clean Color Madly Matte Lip Gloss. Again with that lip gloss name. Look, I realize that I don't expect too much from a $1 liquid lipstick, but these were just really, really awful. I don't recommend these. I know a lot of people like them, but again, they dry super sticky. These flaked on me as well. And they just felt really cakey on the lips and just not comfortable. I did not like this formula. I won't be purchasing any more of these. So these were a miss. Hey guys, we have come to the end of this video. My number one worst liquid lipstick I've ever tried. This is really hard. I know so many people love these. I am sorry. I truly am if you love them. That's so awesome. I'm so happy for you. I hope you can feel how happy I am for you. <laughs> I tried so hard to love these. I purchased so many colors. I even purchased limited edition shades that came out on Halloween. My least favorite liquid lipstick is definitely the Jordana Sweet Creams. I'm sorry. They're just... <laughs> these were just so awful. I don't know how so many people love this formula. Every time I wore these, they flaked so bad they were super dry some of them were okay but the flaking was consistent with all shades with the dark ones with the limited edition ones with the lighter shades with the brighter shades with the red shades with the deeper shades i purchased so many of these hoping that maybe i just purchased a bad one but time and time again jordana you let me down big big time every time i wore it flake city all over chunks balling up around the sides and super dry so unfortunately these are my least favorite liquid lipsticks and no I will not be purchasing any more of them because they're just a huge fail in my book I can't get down with this formula Jordana I just can't do it alright you guys so that completes this video those were my least favorite liquid lipsticks so thank you guys so much for watching. If you missed my best liquid lipsticks video, definitely click up here. You can go watch it and check it out. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. And I post new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye, guys. <laughs>